In this video, I'm actually going to be showing you how you can always win the Toilet HQ game mode. And the main tales you're actually going to go ahead and need is the Titan Cameraman, the Medic Cameraman, the Ninja Cameraman, and the Jetpack Cameraman. And then the Secret Agent one is not necessary, but it is good to have. So if we go ahead and queue up, what you're going to go ahead and do is my favorite strategy is just to place it right in this corner so it can hit everything, like right around there, and then we can go ahead and skip. And then we're just going to try and upgrade this as much as possible. Alright, now we got the second wave incoming. So what I like to do here is as soon as I can actually skip, I will go ahead and skip so then I can upgrade it so nothing can actually get past. Now it should be able to handle pretty much anything that goes through right now. Otherwise, if it doesn't, you can go ahead and always place another ninja cameraman right here. And now we're just going to go skip, but you just want to take your time. You don't want to rush anything in this game mode. Now it kind of looks like I think they've actually increased the amount of units will go through that wave. Looks like a quite Quite a fair bit have actually gone through, but it doesn't really matter, at least you kill all these. Because each of these tiny ones will do 10 damage, so that is around 70 damage it would do. As you can see, what I've done there is I've just placed like a ninja cameraman kind of here and then here just to kill that boss because otherwise it would have gone through. But the ninja cameraman is kind of gonna carry right at the start, otherwise you're gonna lose. And as you can see, the flying buzzsaw toilet is completely getting demolished by just two maxed out ninja cameramen. And now as soon as I can, I'm going to go ahead and place down my titan cameraman. So I'm just going to place it right around here. Then when we can, we'll place our medic one right in front of it and make sure that it is all in radius. And now what we're going to do is just focus on upgrading this titan one to max. Now we're on wave 20 and we've got 30 waves left. Now I need a little bit more coins to go ahead and upgrade this and there we go. And now we've got two fully upgraded Titan ones right here. And we just want to keep placing Titans in the radius of this little medic cameraman so they can heal them. Okay, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is place a jetpack one right there and upgrade it as much as possible. So I have three of these jetpack ones along here. I have the most Titans I can actually fit in this radius. I'll go ahead and upgrade that to max. We're just gonna place as much of these Titan ones as possible as we can fit here. The good thing about these flying rocket ones, they give a load of money, what is really good. Now I'm going to place another one right around here, and we're going to go ahead and upgrade that now. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, if some things like this can get through, so this is usually why I place them here, so then it can always get all the way up to here, what is really good. If you actually place them only here, it would only reach up to around here. So now things can reach here, that's the good thing. So they will probably will die. And this is exactly why you're going to go ahead and need this um, medic cameraman. Otherwise, you're going to just be screwed. <laughs> All of these ones here give like 500 coins each, which is really, really nice. It's at least right now 24 damage every single time these attack. Well, it's actually really overpowered when you think of it. Like, 24,000 damage every single time these lunge forward. This is why you could probably replace all the Titan ones with the Jetpack one and it would be quite overpowered. But, like, it's really good how these can actually go all the way around. Otherwise, you would be completely screwed and dead. <laughs> You can have up to 15 units placed down, by the way. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Titans, and then 3. So we've got 11, so we can place down at least another 4 more if we sell this one right here. But we've got 12 placed down right now. Now what I like to go ahead and do is just place another one right around in, like near these um, jetpack cameramans of the medic ones. And we should be able to go ahead and kill this. Yep. And we upgrade that. These turret spider toilets are like one of the most annoying ones. And um, we've only got like six more waves after this one. What's well, actually really good. So I'm actually going to go ahead and sell this. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to place this secret agent, right? I'm going to place it right around here. And then if anything gets past these ones, it will go ahead and click its button. 
And we've got the new Infected Titan Speaker Man here. As you can see, this Titan one is just getting completely demolished. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go ahead and sell my secret agent, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and put it... I'll put it here, because nothing pretty much gets around to there. And if something does, it will, like, go ahead and hit its button. The glitch tool is actually really easy, because it basically just makes it easier for us to kill it, because it's standing still so much. Flamethrower toilet's quite easy, and then the last toilet. Toxic skull toilet was already gone down 400 500 thousand health and it's gonna die any second now And this is how you win every single match in the toilet HQ map